Hello and welcome to today's IG Live. I'm going to be showing you a super quick tutorial on how to change the Barrett bralette, which normally has a, a little bright here, which normally has a cutout and a center front seam into a crossover style. Now I say crossover, but it can also, this is overlapped about a half of an inch, but you can also have them kissing, so uh, next to each other. And this opens up a lot of possibilities, even though there is a tutorial for the Barrett bralette using a scalloped lace on this edge, it would make more of a statement if you had the scalp lace on this edge as well. So, um, and when I show you, I know a lot of people get really nervous with pattern alterations, but it is so, so, so simple. Um, and I think when you do it, you will be like, oh, that was so easy, why did I wait so long to do it? All right, let me, um, here are my pattern pieces cut out. Now, I didn't cut out the center front piece because I'm gonna be making the changes, so I need like this extra room up here to show you that. You won't be making any changes to the side cup or the back band, so I have them cut out just for demonstration, but you can toss those aside. So let's get right to the bear or the, the pattern alteration for the center front cup. Now I'm going to be making it, what is this? Extra small, small, medium, extra small, small, medium, large. So pretend that I'm making the large, which is the, the biggest dotted line around uh, this pattern grouping. So in order to make the adjustment, the first thing that I want to do is to mark the center front line. So the seam allowances are, a quarter of an inch. So this is the fabric edge right here. Actually, let me zoom in really quickly so you can see this. There we go. Awesome. So this is the fabric edge, but where is the seam line? So the seam line is actually a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna draw a long line all the way to the bottom. Then I'm, that's actually my center front line. So that line that I just drew is actually this seam line right here. So all the way down, and then I'm gonna also mark the seam line from, up, from the bot, up from the bottom edge. So here is, right here is going to be my center front point. That is where these come together or overlap. All right, so I've marked those two points. And then I'm gonna mark in, so down about 5 eighths or half an inch from the top. That's gonna be my strap point. And then a quarter of an inch in from that. And that's gonna again be my seam line. So one thing to consider is that when you have when you sew this pico on here, you have seam allowances. But when you're sewing sewing fold over elastic, like on the bear bralette, you don't have seam allowances. Um, so basically what we want to do is we want to draw a line from here to the center front. Let me zoom out so that you can see that. There we go. Now what I like to do is I like to actually use my, I know that this is gonna be straight here. I'm gonna bring this up. This is a lot of just using your eye to draw a line, but I know that this is gonna be straight, boom. And then I'm gonna use my eye, and what I like to do is I like to then make dotted lines. And I'm just connecting them with kind of like my, my I'm just using my eye to connect these two. And then you will use a curved ruler. Let me go get one. Two true up your line. So true up is just making your lines nice and pretty. So I'm gonna use my curved ruler. And you can kind of play around with what type of line that you want. Usually when I'm doing this, I end up with like 10 lines before I actually finalize an actual line. Okay. 
and then yeah that looks pretty good you don't have to worry about adding seam allowances because because you're using fold over a fold over elastic you don't have seam allowances and then i will cut out my new pattern piece i just want to make sure that i don't cut off the seam allowances on the bottom Remember, this bottom edge is going to go all the way to the center front. And that will be your two new pattern pieces. So you'll you'll go per the instructions. You'll sew the side front to the center front to the center front cup. You'll finish this edge with fold over elastic. You'll also finish this edge with fold over elastic. Now I'm sure there are some of you thinking, well, this in, this edge as well as the top back band includes seam allowances. So when you said you just said that fold over fold over elastic, so I'm getting tongue tied, include seam allowances. Should I remove seam allowances from here? So we didn't uh, on this sample, and it was a quarter of an inch. Um, it's such a small difference that it, it didn't, it wouldn't really make a difference on body, but if you feel that it would affect your fit, you can certainly remove those seam allowances to accommodate for the fold over elastic on this edge. But I don't like cutting into my pattern pieces, or I like making as little changes as possible. Of course, if it's going to affect the fit, you definitely need to change it, but if you feel like, eh, I don't really feel like doing it, or I don't think that it will affect um, the aesthetic of it, don't waste your time. Um, yeah, so that is the tutorial. See, I told you it was gonna be super quick. Um, so if you, so I hope that you make it. I'm, I'm struggling with words here. <laughs> so I hope you I hope you learned a lot. And I feel like at the most point, people are like, all right, and I'll subscribe to my channel and like me on YouTube and Facebook and all that jazz. But you're all good. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.